Our past, present, and future are tied to our memories. Early childhood experiences can matter for a lifetime, which is why the environment a child is brought up in significantly impacts development. Parents must learn how to create a healthy space for their child's brain development. In today's video, we'll take a deeper look into this matter. Our attitudes, beliefs, phobias, and traumas stem from our earliest childhood experiences. You may not have many early memories, but your subconscious mind retains significant past experiences. Studies claim early childhood experiences can change a person's brain structure in the long term in irreversible ways. According to neuroscientific studies, people who undergo negative experiences like blindness, poverty, and neglect in the first few months and years of their life can impair the structural development of the human brain. The human brain is so complex that it does more than just think and create ideas. It's the control room of the nervous system. It also determines how we act and perceive the world around us. It recognizes threats and knows what we take comfort in. And certain aspects like beliefs, traumas, and disorders are formed from our earliest childhood experiences. Let's take a look at the types of memory that develop in the early years of a human. Number one, implicit memory. This memory is present at the time of birth. A newborn infant's mind can create mental figures that include images and emotions based on the infant's experiences with the caregivers. These experiences do not involve conscious processing but affect the baby's reaction and behavior. A baby with secure attachments to its parents has positive images encoded in its brain. Their unconscious state can still recognize their parents as safe, dependable, and nurturing figures who will further provide them with more love and care in the future. A baby with an insecure attachment to its parents may have negative images on its mind about its parents, seeing them as threatening, unloving, and unavailable. Number two, explicit memory. Explicit memory develops by the age two. Toddlers start learning words and more consciously are aware and can remember specific past events they can now picture a more detailed image of their parents and caregivers, including recognizing their pictures, body, emotions, and sensations. A stable child would feel calm and relaxed. A child with insecurities would feel anxious and tense. Nutrition and responsible care of a child's body are crucial to supporting healthy brain development. A baby's developing brain needs nurturing, responsive, and positive experiences. Everyday experiences help to shape your child's brain, from daily routines to the people that come in contact with your child. Creating a healthy space for your baby to live and play is essential. Babies need to learn how to recognize when they're hungry, tired, stressed, or that they wanna cuddle or hug you. Being warm and predictable while responding to your babies and creating routines that help the babies feel safe will ensure that they can count on you whenever they feel distressed and that you're there to listen to them and help them out. Parents should always watch their tone before talking to younger children and make sure they don't come off sounding too harsh. Fun activities. Activities like talking, reading, and singing to your baby or toddler are all fun and easy ways to help them grow. You can also try playing simple games like peekaboo. You can try playing educational games with toddlers to help them learn in a fun way. Nutrition. Breast milk is the best food for a child for the first six months of their life. Whether you use formula or breastfeed, remember to make eye contact, smile, interact, and have skin contact with the baby because when you're feeding the infant, you're building the brain too. And it's important that you do this in a positive way. As your baby grows, make sure to increase iron-rich foods and other varieties of nutrients in their diets by adding more fruits and vegetables. As a parent, here are a few more things you should focus on practicing. Respond to your baby. Being responsive is important, especially when your baby is sick, hungry, upset, or needs comfort. Look out for the positive ways the baby reaches out to you, especially by babbling, making sounds, smiling, or laughing. When you respond to your child in a positive tone, you help your baby's brain develop. Provide a safe environment for your baby. Parents must avoid fighting and using harsh tones in front of the baby because it can easily get encoded into the child's developing brain. 
Make healthy routines for your baby to count on. Help the baby explore. Parents are children's first playmates. Playing games can help them learn about the world around them. Start taking your baby out for strolls to show them the outside world. You can even go out for outings to visit the zoo or picnic. Get regular health care for the baby. You should regularly take your baby to a health care provider. Make sure your baby is up to date with vaccines and talk to your provider about the baby's brain development. Help your child build connections. Play groups and drop-ins are an excellent place for you and your child to connect with other kids and parents. Play groups can help a child to build social skills and encourage physical activity. Choose a quality child care. Make sure you leave your baby in the hands of a good caregiver if you are going to be away from your baby. Choose someone who will respond to the emotional needs of the baby, provide a safe and healthy environment, and most of all, someone you trust with your baby. Taking care of a child's healthy brain development is key to raising an emotionally and physically stable child. Want to learn more? Let's keep the conversation going. Watch 8 Things You Should Never Say to Kids or How Childhood Emotional Abuse Affects You in Adulthood. Go ahead, click one, or better yet, watch both. What fun activities do you like to do with your child? Let us know in the comments below.